Welcome to Electron Online and our next word problem is one involving age. And so here we have a problem that says that five years ago a dad was six years older than three times his son age at that time. And then in four years he will be five years older than twice, two times, the age of his son at that time. How old are they now? Wow. Where do you start? Well, always start with let x equal something. And so since the son is the youngest of the two people, let x equal the son's age, and let's call it let x equal the son age, son's age today. So let x equal the son's age today. So everything will be relative to that age. So let's now go to a period five years ago. So five years ago, we're going to express the son's age and the dad's age in terms of x. So if his son's age is x years today than five years ago, it would be x minus 5. And then it says that the dad was six years older than three times his son's age. So three times his son's age back then would be three times x minus 5 plus 6. That is six years older than three times his son's age at that time. All right, so now we have the son's age and the dad's age expressed in terms of x five years ago. Now let's go into the future in four years. So how old will the son be in four years? Well, it'll be x plus 4, because he'll be four years older than today. And today's age is x. And then his, the father's age will be five years older than twice the age of the son. So two times the age of the son will be x plus 4 plus an additional five years, because it's five years older, plus five, than twice, two times, the son's age at that time, x plus four. So now we need an equation to somehow figure out what x is equal to. Well, we know that the difference in the age between the, the father's age in the future versus the father's age in the past should be nine years. So dad's age in the future, so dad in the future minus dad in the past. So this is future and past is equal to nine years. So if I take dad's age in the future minus dad's age in the past, that should equal nine. All right, so the dad's age in the future is this. So two times x plus four plus five minus the quantity, the dad's age in the past, which is three times x minus five plus six, and that difference should equal nine. And that equation I can solve for x. All right, let's do that. So we have 2x plus 8 plus 5 minus 3 times x. 3 times minus 5 is minus 15, but times the minus becomes a plus 15. And minus times the 6 is minus 6 equals 9. All right, the next step is to move all the terms to the next to the left, everything else to the right side. So here we have 2x minus 3x is equal to, we have the 9 already there, the plus 8 becomes a minus 8, the plus 5 becomes a minus 5, the plus 15 becomes a minus 15, and the minus 6 becomes a plus 6. So that get, leaves us with a minus x is equal to, 9 minus 8 is 1, minus 5 is minus 4, minus 15 is minus 19, and plus 6 is minus 13. So minus x equals minus 13, which of course leaves us with x equals 13. So x is equal to 13. Now we'll go back to the definition. Let x equal the son's age today. That means today the son is 13 years old. To figure out what the father's age is today, let's go back five years. Five years ago, the, the son's age was x minus 5. So five years ago, the son's age would be 8. That was five years ago. And so the dad's age would be three times what the age is today. So that would be 13 minus 5, which is 8. Three times 8 is 24, plus 6 is 30. That means five years ago, the dad's age would be 30, which means today would be five years older. Therefore, dad's age would be 35. So dad would be 35 years old. So again, the way we can look at it is here. The dad's age would be today's son's age minus 5, so 13 minus 5 is 8. That would be 5 years ago. 3 times 8 is 24 plus 6 is 30. That would be the dad's age 5 years ago. Add 5 more to that. Today, the dad's age is 35. So today, the son's age is 13. 
and that's ages 35. If you want to do another quick check, let's go four years into the future and see if that is correct. In four years, the son will be 17, and the dad, 13 plus 4 is 17 times 2 is 34 plus 5 is 39, and sure enough, 39 is four years more than it is today, 35. So it looks like we did that correct, and that's how we do that.